Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the new hideout. Vanessa and I both hope that you have a wonderful time this evening and that we'll be seeing lots of you in the months and years to come. Before the waiters serve you, we're going to present a very talented young man who's going to be singing here regularly after tonight. And Trish and I think his music is, is wonderful. And if you would please welcome Floyd Parker. Thank you, Miss uh, Lewis. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, I know some of you know that uh, I write most of the songs that I sing, and the song that I'd like to do for you tonight is a song that I wrote for a very special lady who's in the audience tonight. And well, she knows who she is, and so will you uh, after this song. didn't get an answer in the room, I got worried, you know, so I got the manager of the hotel to let me into your dad's room, and there wasn't anybody there. What? I know, so I said to the bell captain, what happened? He said, about 8 o'clock, your dad called down, got a bellman to take his bag and get him a cab. Where did he go? Did the bellman know? Well, the guy heard Mr. Chamberlain get in a cab, and he said, take me to the airport. The air? That's what he said. All right, thanks for going over to check. Sir. Yeah, okay, listen, if there's anything I can do to help, uh, let me know. Yeah. Damn secret, Ed. I know it. That's got you to be it. don't know that. You can't know it for sure. Why else would my father leave Springfield and risk his life and his health? Vanessa, please. Now, there's nothing you can do about it tonight anyway. What are we going to do, Ed? We've got to find him. <sighs> come on, you two. We need you to help sing uh, Happy Birthday to Kelly. Yeah, the waiter's bringing in the cake and the presents right now, so come on. Oh, uh... Listen, I'm sorry if you were worried, but when I called Lieutenant Wyatt, 
I told him about the $10 million. He asked me to go to Spalding Enterprises' offices right away and check out the corporate records to try and substantiate some sort of new lead he has in the Diane Ballard murder case. Why couldn't you tell anybody where you were going, Ross? I looked for you, I looked for Amanda. I couldn't find either one of you. I thought at first I'd only be a few minutes, but when I got to the office and I started going through these records, a great many things started coming to light. Anyway, I apologize for getting here so late that we missed dinner. Oh, boy, I don't care about that. What did Wyatt say? <clears throat> Somebody has been embezzling several thousands of dollars from Spalding Enterprises during the last ten months. <laughs> ten months, and they just found out now? Yes, because whoever was taking the money was very good at doing a ballet with the books and covering her, ch her covering her tracks. Her tracks? You mean Diane? Maybe. Apparently, Lieutenant Wyatt has another idea. What? I don't know. He wouldn't say, but he, he did say that it was uh, in connection with this new lead he has found. He's going to be here later, so maybe we can find out more. Come on, let's go into the dining room and try to enjoy what's left of the evening. You all right? I will be. Ross, I got so frightened when you rushed out like that. Look, I apologize. I just hope you don't walk out of me to pay me back. I love you so much. Oh! I can't believe you organized this whole thing behind my back. Just be quiet and open your presents. Right. Kelly, I hate to sound like a slave driver, but could you limit it to one or two? Because I'd really like you to sing soon. Oh, sure. Which one? Which one? Oh, I think first? this one is closest. Oh, okay. And uh, guess which from? Morgan. <laughs> I just hope you like it. Oh, I'm sure I will. How do you get into these things? Uh, you don't plan to use this next year, do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh, Oh. Ooh. Oh, look. It's, it's an antique pocket watch. Open it. Huh? Open it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Where did you find it? Well, I went to Sims, and I asked Mr. Sims if he could have a watch made up that would play our song, and he sent it to Switzerland, and they did it there. Oh, that's incredible. It's the most wonderful gift I've ever got. <laughs> <clears throat> Time's up. I'm going to introduce you now, so you better be ready. Oh, that leaves me time for one more present. Which one should I open? How about this one? Well, how about that? This doesn't have any name on it. Oh, let's open it up and see who it is. Look, it has, it, has, it has my name on the back of it and everything. Now, who do you think would... Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed your dinner this evening. Now, before we serve the dessert and the orchestra takes over, I have one more entertainer that we'd like to present to you. He's going to sing for us, Mr. Kelly Nelson. I'd like to sing a song for you that uh, Melissa O'Brien and Sally Nixon and I have been working very hard on for the last couple of days at the hospital. Um, it sort of reflects the way I feel about things right now, and it's called Ship on the Ocean, and I hope you like it. Here I am, like ship on the ocean, setting my sails for home. Cargo rich with love and devotion on a north wind to love you alone. Singing back of the restless wind that took me from your shore. Deep within it lured me out to seas I'd never sailed before. But when the skies had finally cleared, it was you I missed and wanted me. The 
Cause here I am like a ship on the ocean Setting my sails for home For those each with love and devotion On a north wind to love Stranger in many lands, away from you too long. I've seen the world the way it is, and I know where I went wrong. But what I need is you, my friend, to love and. So here I am, like a ship on the ocean, setting my sails for home. Cargo beach with love and devotion, on a north wind to love. See me on my sails inside. Please be waiting. I need your love tonight. So here I am, like ship on the ocean. Setting my sails for home Cargo rich with love and devotion On a north wind to love you Is there someplace else where we can talk? It might be easier for a wall when you hear what I have to say. In another three hours or so, it should start getting light, and I can find my way up to that villa. Facing Hope and telling her what I know about Alan is going to be the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. This is the last night we'll be together as a family, Alan Michael. After tomorrow, nothing will ever be quite the same for us. I pray someday I'll have the chance to try and make you understand. But before that, I have to find the words to say goodbye to your mother. Without her knowing, it's goodbye. Please know I'm not thinking of myself, Hope. Not at all. I'm doing all of this to protect you. Please believe that. Please. This has been the award-winning Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest, Lewis Purses, and Barney's.